Hi, today we're going to look at improvising. We normally think of improvising as when the, the guitarist or the flute or cello, whatever instrument, does a solo like And it's done spontaneously. So it's not a, a practiced solo, it's an improvised solo. So we want to see how we can improvise with chords, we want to see how we can improvise with rhythms. So improvising isn't necessarily know the scales and it's not just that okay we're going to take the key of c magic because what's cool with c no sharps and flats for the guys that have got the theory and we're going to take the chords found in the key of c magic and we're going to use c a minor f and g now what i'm going to do is i'm going to record while i'm doing this because we're going to play it back now as well and add a bass guitar to it and have some real good fun and we're going to play a rhythm now. I'm still not sure what rhythm I'm going to use. I'm going to use a bit of drummers as well. And you'll notice that my rhythm isn't consistent. So I'm not going all the time down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. I might put a bit of a flick to it. Then offbeat. And then punctuate it. This is also a form of improvising because we just playing a rhythm as we feel like it. It's like when you have a conversation with someone, you don't prepare word for word what am I going to say, you just talk. That's sort of improvising from a vocabulary point of view. So we're going to just improvise. We've got our chords sorted out. Now we're going to improvise with this one over here. He's going to do whatever rhythm he feels like doing at that time. Let's record this and see what it sounds like. Okay, C, A minor, F and G. If you want to jam with, let's do this. Okay, now those chords, if we change the rhythm, you can end up with Stand By Me. Stand By Me. You can take it and arpeggiate them and do this. to take by police or sting. So what I'm trying to share over here is that chords are like a wheel. Whether the wheel's on a Fiat or a Ferrari or a Renault or a Mercedes, it's still a wheel. <laughs> okay. What you do with that wheel is your own interpretation. So our wheel are our chords. What you do with those chords become your creation. It becomes your vehicle. It becomes your unique piece of music you improvising with when learning guitar. Okay, or any other instrument. Remember, it's also very important to learn songs because we also then get to see how other artists or composers have done their music or approached their music. So, improvision, very, very important, but not the only thing. <laughs> okay, we're now going to take the same chords and we're going to go C, G, A minor, F. So, we're going to change the rhythm a bit. Okay, I'm going to record this one down because we, as well because we're going to come back later with some bass, like we said, and we're going to. Listen to the chords first, C, G, A minor, F, and we're going to do something that sounds like this. basically a very strong leaning towards with or without you by you too. We can reggae it and we get this. And you've got no women that cry. Over there we just use bar chords to show that it doesn't have to be open chords. Another study, another day. So, so far, same chords, very different styles, stand by me, every breath you take, you too. Um, with the with Archie, Bob Marley, and <laughs> everybody cry. Same chords. Then we're going to take 
and start on the A minor for a change, we're going to go A minor to F to C to G, and we've got saved tonight. Again, another great song, same chords. And the last one I do is going to be this one here, I'm sure you'll recognize it, very modern song. That is July by Noah Cyrus. So just to recap, with improvising, we can improvise with your chord sequence. We can take any four chords or more chords if you want to. Rearrange the sequence and see what happens. That's a form of improvising. You're testing something and seeing what it sounds like. You're playing for yourself, by yourself and creating on the spot. You can change the rhythm. You can start it with... a sort of a hybrid or combination of rhythms they all work that sounds good now we're going to switch to bass first because we can or bass next sorry mainly because we don't even need to tell our bass players in the same room okay well not the side of the screen anyway <laughs> okay here comes the bass guitar and we're going to go back to that whole stand by me thing i've recorded the the bass down now it's going to get a nice bass sound quickly on the recorder here and check this out you're going to hear this over here, right? There's the drums. That's the original guitar. And now we're going to put with that to see what it sounds like. Let's have a go. Okay, we're going to get ready and let's record this. C. We just did whatever we felt like. We can now maybe do a different bass line just because we can. And we'll do, I think we recorded the with or without you scenario as well. So check this out. Um, we improvise like that okay I didn't do quite that but you got the idea we create as we go along so you can create or improvise rhythmically as well which is very very important now we eventually come to the fun part we're not going to go to the actual improvising okay the actual scales okay for those that are guitarists your scale is going to look like this so I'm going to get the guitar sound back again okay it's called the A minor pentatonic scale for the guitar players and I'll call it the notes for you as we go along so if you play piano, flute, cellos, violins, whatever the notes that are going to play are going to be A, C, D, E, G, A this is the notes that make up the A minor pentatonic scale on guitar it starts fret 5, fret 8 then you go to the next string, 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 7 again. Second from the bottom, it goes back to 5, 8, and 5, 8 once more. Okay, now what we're going to do here is we're going to take that scale and we're going to play it once through up and down. Remember for the all the other non-guitarists, your notes are A, C, D, E, G. We're going to go to the next octave. A, C, D, E, G, A and because we on guitar can play this note so easily I'm going to include a second C above or well, another C rather above that octave so we're going to play along with one, two, three, four and there you have it okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom a bit closer for the guitar players it's easier 
and I'm going to do an improvised solo. In other words, I'm going to call up one of the back tracks we did before, and I'm just going to wing whatever I think sounds cool at the time. Check this out. There was just a scale ascending and it sounded quite nice. Now, as you get better with it, you can go faster. So here's the same thing, just a bit quicker. And pauses. Sounds pretty cool. And that's what I want you to try. I want you to get to be familiar with your scales. Get to test the scale. So when you take a simple chord progression, and maybe you said it's improvising over different platforms. So we're improvising with chords. We took C, A minor, F and G, rearranged them. We played with them. We improvised. We changed the rhythm. We improvised the rhythm. And now we're taking the scale and we improvise that. And the reason why it works is the notes that I'm playing here are found in the same time frame as the notes in the chords. Okay, pentatonic's only got five of the notes. Diatonic will have all seven, but that's another study another day. And now, to finish off with, we're going to do a bit of a, a hard rock approach because we can, and we're going to do the with or without you. Ah, there's the overdrive. My personal favorite. <laughs> okay. And we're going to take it with or without your sequence, and we're just going to close it with a fun jam. Strictly improvising. This is not rehearsed. So if I make a fluff or a blunder, you may laugh. Here we go. <laughs> target note could have been a bit better as you know but i hope you enjoyed that if you've got any questions please feel free to ask or question or query i hope you enjoyed that improvising study have an awesome day